Hi everybody, Fintan here from Damson, and this week I want to talk about an overview of Google Workspace for those of you that maybe don't know the product as well as we do. <laughs> So I want to talk about how teams of all sizes can use Google Workspace to connect, create, and collaborate. I think there's been some um, recent changes, obviously, with COVID and some emerging trends uh, around the future of work. We've seen that work is no longer a place, and it's estimated that 48% of workers um, actually want to continue to work remotely post-COVID. Also, people's time is extremely precious and one in four people are also a caregiver, a primary caregiver um, right now. And so, you know, people are often struggling with that and um, balancing that time with work. Human connection is also hugely critical and a third of employees feel more disconnected from company culture and from colleagues. So finding a solution that helps to connect people um, and increase employee collaboration uh, is really, really important. With Google, the solution um, is focused around three pillars, flexible, helpful, and innovative. They want flexible solutions that allow people to work from anywhere, helpful tools that maximize people's time, and innovation that is human-centered and tries to help deepen and connect people. So, when we look at Google and Google Workspace, it's a place um, to get your work done, whether that's at work or school, or indeed um, you may have used it in your personal life as well. Over 3 billion users are on Google's platform using it every single day. And companies, um, there are millions of companies around the world using uh, Google Workspace to support their business and their, their uh, collaborative uh, requirements. Organizations like the New York Times, Whirlpool, Salesforce, Netflix, uh, Verizon, Airbus, Carrefour, Twitter, to name but a few. Google Workspace is a place for all team members to be able to contribute. Whether that's teams working effectively from the office or from home, frontline workers or organizations that are trying to reimagine how they work. So how can Google Workspace actually help or support your business? Well, teams are using, who use Google Workspace, um, they find that they are happier and more innovative um, and that really Google feels that the future of work um, you know, with Workspace has, has, has arrived. Companies um, with engaged employees are actually have a higher retention rate and 68% of Workspace users in large companies um, say that they enjoy their work more since adopting Workspace versus only 30% of companies on Office 365. Innovative companies also have stronger profit growth as well, and 75% of workspace users say that their teams are much more innovative uh, versus only 55% of Microsoft 365 users. And also the workforce of tomorrow is a Google, Google, workspace, Google workspace, excuse me, um, workforce with 140 million students and teachers using Google Workspace around the world. The students that are the employees of tomorrow um, are, are moving into organizations now and they have an expectation that they're going to be using innovative tools like Google Workspace. The business impact is easy to see with 171 hours on average saved per user per year. That's 21 days over the course of the year and 20% reduction in on-demand on uh, tech support needed. So with Google Workspace, there's a, a huge reduction at, uh, up to 20% um, for a lot of companies when it comes to their IT support. There's also a 331% return on investment driven by Google Workspace. And we see this time and time again when organizations move from traditional solutions like Microsoft. So how is Google Workspace different? When we look at some of those pillars that I mentioned earlier. Flexible, it's a flexible solution that makes it easy to work from anywhere securely. And I think that balance is really, really important. That for many organizations, they want the security from an IT admin point of view, but employees want the flexibility from their point of view. You can create and share documents right from within Gmail, collaborate from anywhere, um, again, right from within Gmail. And you can see your schedule, jump into a meeting, start a direct call with someone, all without leaving the Gmail environment. 
you can pull up any file on any, at any time on any device. And me personally, I absolutely love this feature. It is one of my favorites. I can be working on my desktop, I can move to my laptop, I can open up my phone, and I can work on the same device at the same time instantly. The idea of saving something or sending something to another device literally doesn't exist in my world because I'm using Google Workspace. And when I come across another platform that requires me to do this, I find it incredibly frustrating as an end user. Meetings um, that work where you work, and I think this is really important, that Google Meet has had an incredible amount of updates over the last couple of years since COVID has hit. And um, the product is just unrecognizable from the solution that it was two or even three years ago. Um, Google recently launched a feature called Companion Mode, which allows you to sort of um, allow participants to join who are in the same room. So for example, if you had 10 people in a meeting room who were on a video call and somebody um, on the video call runs a poll, you would only have one you know, one call or one person could fill out um, the poll. With the, with the companion mode, people in the room can join that same meeting, but in a different mode where there's no video or audio, and they're basically participating in comments, in uh, Q&A, uh, and, and in things like polls. And so it allows that sort of democratization and, and inc inclusion of participants um, within the meeting. Also, you've got things like Google's uh, Nest Hub Max, uh, Chromecast, where you can actually um, have a, a Google Meet now on, on these devices. So Google have opened this up. And then in offices, you've got things like uh, Google Series 1 room kits um, that bring in machine learning and AI to make a more immersive and more inclusive experience. I know for me, um, having things like um, noise cancellation within um, Google Meet has been fantastic. And when I use tools like uh, Zoom, if I'm forced to for, for a, a, maybe a, 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 an external meeting, I find it very frustrating that I don't have access uh, to these types of enterprise level features. The next area is helpful. And Google really want to make um, their tools be helpful for end users so that they can maximize their time. Uh, solutions like Smart Canvas um, create these sort of interactive blocks that allow you to do more um, within a document. So um, the machine learning uh, within Google as well will also suggest things to you and sort of analyze and optimize your document now. So when I put in a link to a um, slide deck, for example, instead of it just being you know, a, um, a simple, ugly looking really URL, it will change it to um, a little picture of Google Slides and then the actual heading um, or name of that slide. So just an example there of how Google is helping me pull information together. You've also got things like called chips now where you can actually tag people. Um, you've got um, you know lists of tasks and you can assign them uh, to individuals within the Smart Canvas. And this is just the, really the beginning of Smart Canvas where Google um, moved to this uh, a year or so ago and we're starting to see the benefits now. Um, of this technology, which is great. The next is innovation, and innovation really focusing on putting people at the center of it. So making that immersive experience where now we can actually jump into a video call directly within a document. So instead of having a separate window open that's got my video call and my document there, I'm now actually able to join a video call from the document itself, pulling everything together and in centering the conversation um, on the actual piece of information that we're collaborating on. You've also got enhancements now like live caption, in-meeting translation, the noise cancellation that I mentioned earlier on. And these are the reasons that billions of users are choosing Google Workspace um, as their primary solution. And it's not that it's being forced or mandated by IT, but it's end users that are pushing organizations um, to actually implement these types of innovative uh, tools. So how might you get the best out of Google Workspace? Well, often we find customers will look at replacing tools like Box or Zoom or Slack. And on even a basic tier like Business Standard or Business Plus, customers can reduce the cost of these additional tools um, and often save 50 or even 70% of their monthly costs by simply implementing 
the, um, those same solutions within Google Workspace. I just want to talk here about the security because security is really, really important to our customers and Google's intelligent security systems um, are built in here to stop teams having to like, you know, firefight. And we actually had an example recently of a customer that moved from Microsoft over to Google Workspace and they logged a support ticket with us after about a month or so, um, basically asking why they weren't getting um, as many spam attacks as they had gotten on Office 365. And this was good, they actually thought something was broken, um, but it was just Google's technology and machine learning across billions of users automatically identifying and protecting them from those emerging threats. And all of this can be managed from one simple admin console. You can control devices, manage users, support compliance. You can even do things like endpoint management now on both mobile and desktop and laptops. And so the capabilities now for administrators and security officers within Google Workspace is leaps and bounds above, um, I believe, Office 365 and certainly where it might have been several years ago or five years ago when, when um, you know, you might have looked at this before. Um, there's interesting features now in enterprise uh, around DLP data loss prevention where customers can set up DLP rules around documents and emails and, and you know, basically for that supporting that compliance need that a lot of organizations have today. Next up, I just wanted to mention the cleanest cloud in the industry. And this is a, you know, a title that, that Google uh, wear quite proudly. Um, you know, they use less energy and have used AI to optimize their data centers and now um, are twice as energy efficient as they were five years ago. They are zero net um, emitters. So to help organizations meet their own sustainability commitments, um, moving to, to Google Workspace can actually help you with this. And by 2030, Google are committing to being carbon uh, free in terms of their energy consumption, which is fantastic. So um, you can read some of the stats on that and we'll, we'll link off to some additional information if that's an area of interest to you. Um, next, I just wanted to talk about our professional services that can support you in moving to Google Workspace. So we have um, really kind of uh, three pillars around here where we, we, we talk about migrate, uh, secure and transform. And for customers in that early part of the journey who are maybe moving to Google Workspace, it's really the migrate and secure piece that they're often interested in. The transform bit often comes later. And we have uh, services like deployment, migration, change management, training, and then uh, the security and digital transformation. Uh, and all of these services can come together to help your organization move successfully to Google Workspace and make sure that you leverage the most value um, from the platform uh, that you've invested in. So I just wanted to talk about a quick case study of an example of an organization in EMEA that is, that is using Google Workspace and um, moved to it uh, over the COVID-19 pandemic. So Karsher, hope, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, is a global manufacturing uh, cleaning equipment business and they moved 14,000 workers to Google Workspace in only five days in response to COVID-19 assuming that they didn't migrate any data there. Uh, this enabled their employees to collaborate effectively without missing, um, you know, being in the office basically. And there's a quote here from the chief information officer, Daniel uh, Huback, who said, with Google Workspace, Karsher has transformed its global collaboration, allowing for faster business decisions during the COVID-19 crisis. So for them, this was fundamental um, to supporting them in, in uh, working remotely and in hybrid working. And now they're continuing to, to, to use this um, going on into the future. Yeah, okay, cool. So that's it for me, guys. I hope you found this update useful. Um, if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do subscribe and check us out on Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook as well. If you're on those platforms, do engage in the comments below. We would love to hear uh, from you about Google Workspace if you're interested in moving to it or indeed if you are already on the platform. And as I've said before, we offer a lot of services around helping customers both decide whether Google Workspace is right for them and also helping you with the migration, change management uh, and training of moving to the platform. So if you're interested in any of those services, then please go to our website um, and you can set up a meeting with one of our Google Workspace experts. That's it for me. I will chat to you guys 